Hello everybody and welcome back to Aeon. I think we're just about to finish the Ascension quest here. We'll get part of the way there, so I thought I would start recording. I want to see what happens here. I'll take it as probably much the same as the Asmodian uh, side. I've been wandering around for the last, uh, I don't know, last 30 minutes. So on here, I'm trying to see if I can find her some new, I know outfit, but still not being able to succeed. Luckily she got changed for this event. <laughs> Defeat Raiders. Okay. Get down. I think that hurt. <laughs> Talk with Pernos. Okay, hello Pernos. I am but a faithful servant. Uh, cleric, I think it was. I wanted. Yes, I think it is. Yes, it is. There we go. Let's just go with the cleric, shall we? So we've got to do the ceremony in Sanctum. What's this here now? The world of Atreia was created by the god Ion as a paradise where all could live in his abundance. And at the center of the world, he created a tower to house his essence, the magical substance we call Ether. The first of Ion's creatures were the Drakan, whom he created to rule the others. But where once they had governed, they now chose to enslave, taking on new powers and a new name, Valar. Their lords rose in rebellion against Ion. The human race opposed the Balar, but human strength and numbers were not enough to overcome them. Ion imbued certain humans with ether, twelve Empyrean lords to rule the human race, and a host of immortal winged devas. But to prevail against such a foe was no easy task, even for these great warriors. And so the war continued for a thousand years. 
Israfel, an Empyrean lord, wanted to propose peace to the dragon lords of the Balar. Many disagreed with him, and there were heated debates in the lords' councils, but when Lady Ariel joined in solidarity, many others followed. They lowered the etheric field that protected them from attack, and the Balar delegation arrived at the tower. In an instant, tragedy struck. Lord Ritra fell. Panic gripped the assembly. Who had attacked first? No one could say. All thoughts of peace abandoned. The war began anew as Lord Phrygion launched a bolt of fire toward Ion's tower. Without the protection of the etheric field, the tower broke apart under the Balar attack. Knowing the danger to humanity and the world, Lady Seal and Lord Israfel rushed to reset the field. Sacrificing themselves, they averted the complete destruction of Atreya, but not in time to prevent a cataclysm that shattered the world into pieces. And so the stage was set for another war that would rule the lives of devas and humans for centuries to come. Well, I wasn't really expecting that, but there we have the backstory to Aeon. Uh, well, let's go and do it. Shall we? Let's get the ascension done, at least then we can get past level 10. It's been telling me for the last 20 minutes that I can't level up any further. Sanctum. Alright, oh, I really don't know my way around this, uh, this one. I, I played mainly on the Asmodian side when I did play it at launch. I heard you were coming. The Davis are looking forward to meeting you. They await you in the Lyceum. They'll be very excited to welcome you to Sanctum, the capital of Elysium. Okay. Meet Euclius and perform the Deva ritual, wherever that is. I guess in this way. Wow, that's a lot of people. What the hell? Oh, these are all shops, are they? Wow, no wonder it's a bit laggy. <laughs> uh, right, which direction do I need to go? That way. It would appear. On the map. Yeah, that's all I see him. Diver in sight. Friend. It's not a very flattering little view, is it? <laughs> Today you ascend from humble roots. May those roots not be forgotten. As the light of Ion leads you to your destiny. Okay, it seems it seems I've pronounced it wrong. It's not Aeon, it's Ion. Okay. Thank you very much. Ah, there we go. Yes, I've got my wings. Right, let's head into high gear here. Or high gear, high gear, high gear. I always led you here. I take it up on the maze, do I? 
able to get both. Okay, there we go. Dingaling level ten still. <laughs> uh, right, we don't want that yet. Ion has led you here. Right, I'll take that quest for after. Right, what do we get there then? Ooh, that's just ever so slightly better. Is that right? Really? Let's find out, shall we? I was wondering why as a, as a cleric I couldn't wear a chain, but look, it would appear that I can now. Ah, oh, that's good news, but I don't like the look of that. Whoops. Wrong button, Nick. That's a bit boring, but we'll do for the time being, unless you can do... Can you do appearance? I don't know if you can or not, so let me know in the comments below, guys! So we need to get back down to where we were before to continue with those quests, which I will do next time. This is just a quick video because I was getting near to the Ascension part. So this is all grey and silveress. Saying adios, and I will see you soon. All grey signing off.